All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the following problem. Given a string, write a function to determine if it is a palindrome. So a palindrome is a sequence of characters that reads the same from front to back as it does from, from back to front. So an example of a palindromic sequence is the word race car. So race car is read from left to right, but it's also read the same from right to left. Another such word is the word madame. And these are single word palindromes, which are easy enough to detect. But we might have something a little bit more complicated like this, where it's a complete sentence. And it also involves spaces, punctuation, capitalization, these sorts of things. So if you read from left to right, you get the phrase, damn it, I'm mad. And if you disregard punctuation, spacing, these sorts of things, you get the same phrase from right to left as well. So in our function, what we're going to have to do is take into account um, these sorts of things. For instance, the capitalization of letters, we need to treat a capital D the same as we would a lowercase d. Um, punctuation, we probably should remove that, as well as uh, white space. So the first part of our function is really going to be about pre-processing the string, so that way we take care of all of those concerns right off the bat. So let's define our function. We'll call it is palindrome, which will take one argument s, which will be the string. And the first thing that we'll do is convert the entire string to lowercase. So we'll say s is equal to s dot lower, which will convert the entire string to lowercase. Uh, the next thing that we can do is we can just remove the punctuation from the uh, from the string s that's passed through. And one way that we can do that is by using the string library. So if we import the string module. And we say s is equal to s dot translate none string dot punctuation. This will uh, get rid of all of the punctuation in the string s if it exists. And the final thing that we'll do is we'll remove the white spaces of the string. So we'll say s is equal to s dot replace any white space with nothing. So Basically, what we're going to have after we've done uh, these three lines here, if we were to run this on uh, this particular sentence, we would have something that looks like that. So now we've got the uh, stripped down, lowercase, punctuation removed string. And now really all we want to do is check whether or not it reads the same from front to back as it does from back to front. So what we're going to do is we're going to return true, or I should say we're going to return uh, if s is equal to the reverse of s. So if you're not familiar with what this does, this is just sort of a Pythonic way to reverse a string. And this is just checking whether or not the string that we're initially given is equal to the reverse of that string. And if that is the case, then this will return true. So we can give this a test on some on some inputs here. So let's define some variables. Let's say string one is equal to race car, which is a palindrome. String two, let's say, is equal to that phrase, damn it, I'm mad. And string three, let's say that is equal to um, computer, which is not a palindrome. And let's see if the function recognizes these three examples. So we'll print is palindrome on string one. And we'll do the same for string two and string three as well. And so if I go over to my terminal window, I have is palindrome.py here, which is this file right here. If I type in Python is palindrome, I get true, true, false, false, which is exactly what we'd expect. Since race car we know to be a palindrome, damn it, I'm mad is a palindrome, and computer is not.